Welcome back to NASCAR Heat 5, folks. Today we have got Dover Speedway. As you know, I love this track, but I love almost all tracks, so I guess it doesn't matter to say that. I guess it'd be more important when I'm like, I don't really like that track. Anyway, though, $122,000 up for grabs, 100 laps, and we lead in the playoffs, and we are actually growing, but I have something to show you guys that is fantastic. That's right, folks. Tommy Joe Martins is now just angry at us. He is no longer a rival. We are getting somewhere, and it is exciting. Yeah, I know. Don't pay attention to the Cup Series. It's not. Nothing's happening over there. I think it's going to take quite a while, and I hope we can get things settled before the end of the season. Anyway, though, after that great news, we're going to get out here, do a little bit of practice, and we will see you at qualifying. What in the holy happiness is this? That's right. We dominated, and that was only one lap. I just did one lap. And we dominated, but that's also because I set our incentive bonus super low. It's like two top 15s in five races, so that's on me. I wasn't paying attention. I thought that was for the Cup Series, and I figured I'd go low there because I'm not trying to finish high. I'm just trying to improve relationships. But we've got qualifying. Pole position is only two, two point three tenths in front of us, actually, and... I don't think we'll get it, but it's kind of cool that we can see that there. Anyway, let's get out here and do our qualifying lap. All right, qualifying lap now underway, and we're actually already starting it off a little bit worse than we should be. As I slowed the car down, I tapped the apron on the out lap, and I don't know how that's going to affect us coming through this whole thing, but I'm going to kind of overdrive and tap the brakes to bring us back in. We should end up kind of diamonding this corner. We'll see how that turns out for us. Uh, we should definitely get into the... Yeah, we got into the... We had about the same, actually, that we had before. Oh, no, we were two tenths slower. Oh, well. Eighth place is good. My apologies. I was unable to tell you guys the standings. You'll see them. Um, most important thing of these three cars is that Max Cost is still holding a grudge. We'll have to keep an eye out for him right there on the track. I believe he's... I don't know where he is, actually. Behind us, it looks like, which is good. All right, now. Be smart out there. Going green. Almost ready now. Green flag. Hold your line. Got one inside. We got Matthias Espinoza up here with us. Looking inside now. That's interesting. That's new. Got one down low now. Lane Tibbergen is there. We're going to dang near hit that wall. I know I saw Taylor Carpenter up here. He was one of the drivers that made some big changes, although he wasn't able to fully upgrade his car. He was able to get his speedway set up fully upgraded, which will be big for them. Still there? Yeah, there he is up there. And uh, Whoa, I got super loose. AJ Hill right behind us. Little contact with, Mati or with uh, Lane. All right, we're good. We're good. We just had to, you know, settle in a little bit. That's how it usually goes. We just went from a very different style of track. And so we're, you know, we got to figure some of this out, but we're doing all right. Can't obviously let the car just fade all the way up the track. Can't do much here with these guys, so we're just going to have to do what we can to keep it off the apron is really my big goal. Just off the apron. We're not driving it as fast as I can, so that's a good thing because that means we can get around these drivers. Oh, AJ Hale saw an opening. He's coming up on the inside, and he shoves me up into the wall. Minor contact, but it really drove me up into the wall hard. That's not great. I don't like that at all, actually. Let's get back into the gas and try to get back up to that area we were just in. Well, we were able to finally give it a little more gas than we've been able to recently, so that's good. Fortunately, yeah, we did all right there, but still not our fastest. And John Perez went on the inside of Josh Berry. We went on the outside. Josh Berry drove up. We had contact with him. We appear to be okay, and so does he, but it definitely slowed our ability to make the corner. Get on the outside of Perez. Clear low, clear low. Hold your line, got one inside. 
See if I can... Well, little contact with Perez. We had to come off the gas to avoid the wall there. I mean, I'm probably squeezing him down. This view kind of sucks. I could actually see a lot more if I could run this in my ultra-wide, but... That all the stats are off the screen for you guys, you wouldn't be able to see the HUD. So I have to run this in the smaller screen, which isn't fun. It's not as fun, I should say. Well, we're just not doing a ton right now because we're not able to get on the inside again and work these cars. Oh, that was a nice run. Can I keep it going? Oh, slight contact with the wall there. Let's see if we can just bring it down and hang out down here then. Try to avoid that contact with Espinoza. And Perez goes high. So that's going to be probably a pretty easy pass. The drive off might be good, but we already cleared him, so he couldn't just drive around us. So now we're up two spots, but Daniel Hemrick up there in first place has driven away. Not to say we can't catch him. As we still haven't achieved the 23-3 we were doing in practice. So, you know, we might be able to do that yet as we get around Espinoza and we've got a bit of a clearing here with Matt Malone in front of us. So we start to catch him. That's nice. AJ Hill in third. The, race is half over. the stage is half over. Not the race. But... I gotta speed it up because we need to. So we'll be back at the end of stage number one. I'm going to tell you right now, stage three is going to be crazy if it goes green because we're going to have just a ton of lap cars changing the way that this race goes. We'll see how it turns out, though. We ended up in fourth place in stage number one. Car felt pretty good. We're able to leapfrog AJ Hale, and we're now in third place right behind the leaders. Let's see if we can get around him and just drive away. That'd be awesome. I know we have a different gear ratio than they do to start, but... That means nothing once you, once you're driving. You know what I'm saying? At least we don't have the whole pack behind us to worry about. That's a big deal. If we do this right, we should be all right. We'll have to see how a full lap under green without us, you know, having a rolling start goes. That's probably the biggest thing for us. Well, that wasn't good. Daniel Hemrick is absolutely catching us. Eliza Bethel, not so much. So interesting there. Yeah, we aren't as fast as Hemrick. So that's... But if we can take Hemrick with us, or if we can follow Hemrick around and drive away from everyone else, that could be a big deal. But we actually... He's hanging out behind us right now, but I could see him diving it in on me or something. We'll see how it turns out. I'm not going to pay attention to my rear view. I'm looking at the front line, very focused on the front line right now. Also, tire wear may be a thing. Oh, that's my fastest lap ever. Great. Fastest lap ever, and Hemrick was right there to try to pass me on the inside. There he is. That's on me. Nothing I could do there. In fact, happening to open the door for him, opened up some of it for Bethel. She's right behind us. Stay high up there. 
trying to we'll try to just hang with Hemrick and drive away from everyone. See if we can do that. I know that we seem to be able to uh, catch him a little more, but I actually think backing out or uh, backing up the corners is better on this track than what I've been doing. I've been powering it through and just riding the wheels or the tires. If I'm riding the wheels, we're in even bigger trouble because that means there's no tire there to protect us. But yeah, it seems to be working because we're catching his draft, so we're pulling away from everybody behind us, so that's nice. I think that's what Bethel and Hemrick actually did on the last stage because those two were pretty far ahead of us until they got to lap traffic. Of course, it's my best lap ever. I'm riding behind somebody, and I'm in their draft. Touch the apron. Keep off the wall. There we go. This could be our best lap ever again. Could be. Nope. Not quite. We're hanging out here, though, aren't we? We're not going away from Hemrick, which is a big deal. We are going away from everyone behind us so far, so that's a big deal as well. I also have to keep in mind, if he does mess up, I gotta be ready. And right now, I'm just kind of hanging out. 23.3s are really good laps for us, so I don't mind that we're not getting back into the 23.2s. 23.2 was a bit of an anomaly, but we've done a number of 23.3s now, so that's good. Let me see, this would have been one of those laps that we're going to be right on his bumper exiting, which is awesome. It's awesome. All right, to go. Keep it nice and smooth for All right, we're halfway through stage number two. They go fast here, but we're going to speed it up until the end of stage two. We'll be back on the mic with you as I aforement I just said it. Stage two end. You You understand. Well, we'll stack them back up. We're only going to have a couple laps left, but as soon as we get back to the line, I'm going to go ahead and Coming speed it back up until the end of the stage. Be ready. Get that nice beginning jump. We'll be back. We barely held off Hemrick for the win there, and also that came out before we crossed the line, which means there was another caution that was called. Interesting. As we're going to go ahead and pit for the third stage beginning. We went in in first. We come out in first. Lane Tibber again moves up two spots. That's all I could see there. Max Cost green. not in the top ten. What's going on there? We got a car on pit road. Car there on the outside. All right. That looked like Jeremiah Graham to me. Unfortunate for that team. Going to come off the gas there. Eliza Bethel has passed Daniel Hemrick. They are actually side-by-side -side racing still. A lot of side-by-side -side action going on behind us, which only helps us as they battle it out. They're unable to run the full track width, and therefore we're able to kind of do our thing. And drive away a little bit here, which is awesome for us. One thing I did notice was uh, tire wear is a big deal here. Once you start to wear out, like we're doing 157 around this turn right now with ease. We're barely barely able to hit 150 halfway through. So, oh, well, that's part of it. <laughs> we hit our best lap ever. And that's uh, very nice. Uh, we know that we're going to have... The second half of this race, or the second half of this stage to watch all the way through. We're leading it right now, so it's kind of not a whole lot going on. Let's go ahead and speed it up right now, and we'll be back with you either when we're pitting or when we are in some action.
guess excitement has been had now. We have uh, under 30 to go, and we've been passed because of lap traffic. We weren't able to get around Sam Mayer. I kept hitting the apron like an idiot, trying to get as much out of it as I could, and that was costly. But we're obviously not out of Hemrick's draft, and we still have a lot of lap traffic around us that could cause issues, so that's good. Or, I mean, it could be good. Could also be bad. We'll find out right now as we just got around Hemmer. Again. That time we had to get on our brakes to avoid. Oh, he's there too. Crap, I drove down a little too far too and I got hit. Or I guess I hit him with my left fender, but... Yuck. See if he gets caught up behind Golding enough for me to catch him again. Probably not. He dropped down on the inside and got the position. And I'm not going to catch him in this turn, am I? Not not fast enough. I got caught up behind Calding. Actually, too fun. <laughs> so fun. Where are we at? Six left in the tank. And... All right. Yeah, we'll have to figure that out. Because I'm hoping we have green flag stops. That'll make it challenging. Wow, he is just cruising through the pack in front of us. That kind of sucks for us right now. Hopefully our pit crew is fast and we're able to get back on, uh, back up on track before him. I don't know. We've led a lot of laps today, but so is he. So that's a big deal. Oh, I'm so glad I came off the gas. I would have absolutely smashed into Gary Norton. We got cars going onto pit road or coming off of pit road. Yeah, that's all right. Tommy Joe Martin's just coming back on the track. That was nearly a wreck. Trying to get around these cars. Whoa, caution comes out. We have contact. That's amazing. We did a full pit stop and we didn't lose anything. So that's nice. Unfortunately, it looks like another car is on pit road. And that car is Parker Smith. We will drive it around one time and then see. I hate that. We very rarely get green flag stops. I just think it really changes the way the game goes. When you get green, I mean, I could turn it up so that, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want a bunch of them. 17 to go in the race, though. So we continue to try put ourselves in victory lane. We drove a lot of laps with Daniel Hemrick behind us this last time. So I think it's possible for us to hold him off with fresh tires. It was when our tires started to wear out when we started to tap the apron and we're having a harder time. I don't know if 17 laps is going to be enough for him to get back around us. He caught up to us probably 23 laps into the run, so we might be okay. At least I'm hoping we are. Got a 7 tenth lead over second place. We are of course, we're driving away from everyone else. There always seems to be one or two cars that are really, really good when you're also really, really good. And then the rest you can kind of get away from. As it stands right now, though, we're doing an all right job of keeping him at bay. Can we continue? I don't know, but I'm hoping so. I am hoping. We're not really driving away from him now, but oh, a little bit. I was going to say, but we're holding him back enough. That's a big deal. I think once he gets far enough in front of Bethel and doesn't have that draft anymore with her, that's going to help us as well. I screwed that up, though. Really, what I need to focus on is just the track and not everything that's going on around on the track, because that's usually when I start to mess things up. I'm looking at the relative and talking to you guys about it, and then I miss my turn completely because I'm staring at the relative and not my 
breaking points or turn points or whatever. I've got them all. I've got them all. It's very not feel related. It's uh, also speed related for me is kind of where I know if I can't feel it. Like, okay, so at Watkins Glen, we had the carousel. That's purely feel, but actually, after a while, there is a marker there, and you're like, oh, I almost always am at the right speed if I do this turn right. I'm almost always at the right speed to get back on the gas at this point. And then you start looking to that point in case you're not sure about where you're at with the speed or you're in it real heavy and you can't stare at your speedometer going around a turn. Here, with fresh tires, brand new tires, I can hit that turn. I can get back on the gas and be at 157. But after we, you know, wear them out a little bit, we're down, see, down to 152, 153 right now. Our drive off before 162, 163, and now it's in the 150s still. But the good news is, as we drive away from Daniel Hamrick and Eliza Bethel and the rest of the crew, is that they're also slowing down with their tire wear, and that's what matters, so... We're doing alright. That was a really bad set of turns, so we'll try to focus up a little better again. Try to get that back, and honestly... Try to never look back, as we are under 10 laps to go in this race. And... This will be... This is actually pretty special if we're able to win this race. Two races in a row, different style tracks. And this is with everybody that having it... I mean, not everyone, but every all the custom drivers are actually better. That's what's weird about this game. So, Daniel Hamrick is not as good as... Whoa, Matthias Espinoza is up in second right now. I didn't see that. I was going to say Eliza Bethel. She's got, you know, perfect ratings across the board. AJ Hale is actually right there, too. They're not... His, he's not better than them, but I think the game obviously kind of rolls the dice on how cars are going to do during the race to make it not the same every time. So that's why they'll be up here, but they'll also be the cars that are um, they could win. Maybe they won't win. You never know. You get a Daniel Hemrick that has just an amazing race, and he's who we're battling all race long. Bradshaw Stout hasn't upgraded his driver the last two times. So because of that, his driver's in the back and we're about to lap him already. Uh, Ryan Truex Jr. is having a bad race. They said it in the comments at the beginning. He's not, uh, so he's obviously in the back as well. Um, I cannot adjust Tommy Joe Martin's stats. And so he's going to run in the back from now on because I can't do anything with him. He's like a unique driver in this game. And he's not set up like the other ones, and I cannot find his file to save my life. So, um, it might be in a different, like, it might be the Truck Series file, but I'm not sure. Because even these guys that are in the Truck Series have their own file for the Xfinity and the Cup Series if they're in all three series. Is, is, is. So, I'm not really sure, but I'm glad that he's not, um, a rival anymore. Because when I go around him, there's not going to be any big deal for me. Although, getting caught up behind these cars right now isn't great. Because All right, you're clear. I, um, I've got Daniel Hammer catching me. Very few laps to go, and we were doing really well. Let's see if we can get around the Earnhardt family. Have a nice little meeting back here. Car there on the inside. Can I? Yes, 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 yes. Woo! I cannot tell you how much the steering wheel was moving for me there that I was moving the steering wheel to keep myself off of them and off of the wall at the same time but that's going to give us a little bit of a space with Daniel Hemrick again which is nice two laps to go feeling good about the race feeling good about everything you know I love Dover this car has been unbelievable today and I love that so we come up on Anthony Alfredo Matt Kenseth and Sheldon Creed Get to the outside of Alfredo and smack that wall hard. Frick. Alright. Well, Alfredo needs to drop down. Thank you. And can I get to Creed before he comes up in front of me? Yes, I can. Looking pretty good, folks. Are we going to be able to walk away with a victory second in a row? Proving that we have really solidified ourselves as the dominant driver this season. First place in the Allied Steel Buildings 200 here at, here at Dover.
And we have another 105 rating. Love it. I was going to burn it out and it wouldn't let me. I took too much time talking, I guess. Anyway, top five. Tony Savoy, Daniel Hemrick, Max Cost got third. I didn't see him all race long. Michael Chavez, AJ Hale. Then we have Matias Espinosa, Eliza Beth, who ran second place much of the race. Bernardo de Oliveira, Timothy Mathis came in 10th. Taylor Carpenter, 12th. Lane Tibber again, 13th. Matt Malone, 14th. Gary Norton, 17th. John Perez, 18th. David Schildhouse, 20th. Casey Kane, 21st. Bryce Egan, 22nd. Bradshaw Stout, 33rd. Parker Smith, 35th. DNFing. And unfortunate for Jeremiah Graham as well, 36th. DNFing. And we are now just four points out of taking over the lead in the regular season. There's our trophy first place here at Dover. Fastest lap of the race went to us with a 23-149 rocket ship. Most laps led. That's right, it was us again with over half. On the move, Max cost 31st to 3rd. Great drive for that group. Tough break goes to Matt Kenseth, 10th to 29th. Well, in the next episode, it'll be a good one from Daytona. As you can see, we're taking a look. Actually, we're going to jump to the playoff standing, see if anything has changed yet. We're in first, Eliza second. We're not going to go through this list again. What we really need to see, has anything changed in the bottom three? No, it's not. Gary Norton, Bryce Egan, Michael Chavez still there. David Schildhouse still could get there on points. Josh Berry making a vie for it. So is Daniel Hemrick in the last two races. They had did very well. And we don't have a single driver right now that can get in on wins from the Custom Driver Series. Obviously, if they get a win, though, they should be in. So I don't know why the needs wins is. Maybe it's because they have no shot at getting in on points. Anyway, folks, that is going to do it for this episode. In the next episode, as I said, you'll see the Daytona 250. And I would like to take a moment out to say thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And until next time, and of course, as always, you take care. Hit the like button.